You got on, you're, you're in the hillside, um, got introduced to life. Talk about how you're introduced to the life side. How did that come about? To be honest, I don't really know. Um, health was in its slow season and I- Well, how been, did you guys meet? All right, so we met through Shelby, his girlfriend. Uh, I was at a party for one of our friend's graduation. She just got her master's, bachelor's, something like that. And I uh, was talking about how I was with this brokerage in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, Shelby was telling me how well Marcus was doing and I asked for his number um, One thing led to another I hit him up. He talked to me about my compensation rate and uh, He was like dude. I feel bad for you. So. Yeah, I, I did. I'm like man I'm glad I got in the industry when I did and with the right company. Yeah, hey, do you think about that? I think sometimes when when you're actively recruiting dude, you sell more because like it just keeps your perspective right. And I always say that like your performance is, is closely tied to your level of appreciation. So if you can have more appreciation for like your comp, just where you're at, like what you're doing, mm -hmm. like you'll perform better with what you've got. Absolutely. And when you start recruiting, man, like Marcus, like like you helped him sell more that week because he got the phone. You're like, dude, that fool got that kind of comp, man. Like, <laughs> and you feel bad. Like he was sincere. Like, dude, I just want to help you. Like, I'm gonna, help you. I'm gonna just double you right quick. Like, come, come on. Yeah, up. let me give you a hand <laughs> up, man. Let me give you a true shot. Um, so, so you guys got connected that way. Mm -hmm. Talked about comp. You're intrigued because you're like a lot more money to go yeah, out there and serve some clients. Yeah, you talk my comp, and I'm like, I'm there. Like, what's the catch? Like, what's what's going on? And I just didn't know any better. That's all it was. I was captive, low comp. Um, they told me they would feed me like warm leads, and that's why I was taking the captive sure. position. I was calling a government cold call list, getting in the door with Medicare. Were you paying for leads? No, I didn't have to pay for them, but they just weren't like warm I yeah but see think about this like you you weren't paying for them but yeah the but quality. you were paying for them yeah I meaning that like, like sorrow and well no low comp. Yeah. low comp yeah. low comp man like so somebody says man i got i don't gotta pay for leads over here it's like well dude you got a 30 percent comp and that's 70 percent lower and you go out and serve 20 families oh you're paying significantly for those things yeah 100%. it's just a way they kind of package it you know when that, I was, that was a big thing when I brought him on. We were talking about leads because he wasn't used to buying leads and at all. He's like, "Man, I gotta, you know, I gotta spend five hundred dollars on leads. I don't know if I'm gonna do that." And I called him like three days in a <laughs> row, like, "Dude, I don't know if I can drop that five hundred, bro." Because my last right. company, I was, I was non-captive. I was ten ninety nine independent, but they were feeding me live transfers. The health company, sure. so and it was an easier product to to sell to market. To, I mean, it was Medicare, so usually they weren't paying anything over, just changing plans. But my conversation reflected that. Right. Yeah. Wait, how did you get your mind right on the whole investing in leads? Like what kind of finally like the perspective that shifts? Like, all right, I'm good with that. I think I saw so much in the training videos, how they were just like, that is the lifeblood. Like you need to do it. You do what you got to do to get 500 bucks to invest in leads. Do what you got to do to keep and don't ever decrease the amount you spend on leads. And it makes sense, but it was just, I kind of had to just take a leap of faith and be like, all right literally put 500 on my girlfriend's credit card and then on my birthday and then bro that week hey you guys both got good help. girls man your girl marcus <laughs> is your best recruiter because she, she found is. tristan she is tristan's girl supplied him Paying with the, yeah leads. yeah helped him start his business you guys got good ones man she yeah. Believed it, dude. It was, yeah that's awesome man